the universe might be a simulation. Elon Musk is virtually certain of it, and Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks so too. But whether or not you believe them, one thing is certain. There's no way of knowing for sure that it's not a simulation. This means that everything around you might be an illusion. Brains may not really exist. Even time and space may not be as they seem. Given all that, is there anything we can be certain of? Yes. I am certain that conscious experience seems to be happening right now. I definitely seem to be experiencing something. I can try and doubt that, but then I discover that the conscious experience of doubt seems to be happening. If you'd like, pause the video and try it for yourself. You might object. It doesn't really seem to be happening. It only seems to seem that way. Fine. However you want to say it, still. There. It. Is. Seemingness is the one thing I can be certain of. In this talk, I'll also call it consciousness, or experience. So, you seem to be hearing the sound of my voice. Now I want to ask you, what is that sound made of? You might be thinking it's made of vibrating air molecules, or brain chemicals. But remember, we can't be sure that atoms, brains, or chemicals really exist. And yet, the sound seems to be made of something. I want you to try and get the sense that what you're hearing is made of the raw stuff of experience. I know this is a tautology, but I want us to have a shared vocabulary. All the sights, sounds, and textures around you are made of seemingness. Even the thoughts you experience are made of this seemingness. If you pay close attention, you can notice this. Okay, plot twist. Life is a synonym for seemingness. Let's break that down. When you feel the exuberance of life, you are in awe of all the sights, sounds, textures, and emotions being experienced. You are in awe of seemingness. In all its glorious forms. Okay, let's recap. First, we cannot be certain that physical reality exists. Second, we can only be sure that something seems to be happening. Third, another name for this seemingness is life. So, we can only be sure of life. Life takes on forms that we call colors and sounds, but also emotions and thoughts. Okay, now, one such thought is all that really exists is physical reality, and it is made of only dead stuff. In other words, life is taking on the form of thought and saying, only non-life really exists. Consciousness is telling you, consciousness does not exist, brains are the real things. This is the great cosmic joke. To be fair, it can take quite some practice to allow your mind to become calm enough to notice the overwhelming life staring you in the face. Normally, we're so lost in our thoughts that we never notice the life that animates them. We go to great lengths to hide it from ourselves. As long as we remain convinced that stuff is real and life is the illusion, we will continue to treat each other and our planet that way. But there is hope, and it all begins with realizing the great cosmic joke.